mixture of the cooking and adding nutritional value to your meal. Is, is, uh, do you encourage certain materials as uh, you know, uh, cooked uh, uh, utensil material? From Absolutely. Uh, so I, that's one question I had. Because even if we get the best nutritional food, if we don't cook it right, then it loses its nutritional value. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we would only um, so one second against. One second, one second. Uh, so we might have to wait again if this Zoom goes off. Kindly stay online because I have a question for uh, Sudha. Uh, you know, on nutrition. And uh, once you finish answering uh, Mohit, uh, you know, in, while if you are in the process, it might go that Zoom. So stay on and reconnect and come back because I have another question for you. We haven't gone to uh, Mr. Somshekar, uh, who has been so patiently listening. We go uh, no, we are still waiting as well. Yeah, yeah. So I'll go to Nishita after a while. We'll go to Somshekar after. Okay, so Sudha, you keep talking. Once you go away, then uh, yeah. you know the Zoom goes will come back. Huh. Nothing. I just wanted to add that the only thing we would advise against is those Teflon uh, coated, those non-stick cookware. Just to avoid that. And you know the. What about uh, a lot of people? You know aluminium. aluminium. Uh, uh, aluminium also should be avoided, right? Also should be avoided. It leaches and then it goes into the brain and then causes toxicity. So maybe Beko, yeah, steel, maybe other uh, old iron, stone. Stone is good. Yes, yeah. What about uh, uh, clay? Microwaves. Yes. Oh, that's another topic. <laughs> Avoid microwaving. Yes, yeah. as much as I would advise against. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, all these elements are also important while we consider the nutritional value and the yeah. uh, The way you cook it and the way you serve it and reheat it is also important. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Sudha, I was just going to say, in all the yeah. classes, and uh, you know, in colleges that teach uh, or courses that teach cooking, the more emphasis is on ingredients, the way we decorate it, the gourmet way of arranging it. Rather than that, I think this, in addition to that, perhaps your inputs on uh, uh, you know, cooking with a good feeling, cooking you know, uh, with love, and all I think those aspects have to be added because Absolutely. I do know that when you're in a bad mood and when you're cursing someone, when you're irritable, you tend to cook something and then it does transfer to the food. I think if it's a food, the art of you know food making, I think this has to be an integral part. Uh, maybe the, you can you, you give it as a suggestion because there's so many hotel management institutes can put that on the side as a, and also Sadhguru says, you know, uh, don't let uh, your child eat what is made by somebody else. So, you know, try to make your own uh, food to the extent possible. So, whatever my son needs, I am quite selfish and I will just make only for him. Uh, just to ensure that he keeps good health. So, while we are on the topic, we'll go to... Uh, uh, so, I see Dr. Nishita, I also see Somshekar Daru. Would you like to talk? Yeah, I think uh, thank you, Karuna Gopal Garu and Uday uh, I think as a known uh, known representative from the media, uh, I would like to you know, just say a few things. And uh, when I heard the topic, I was reminded of TSLU, you know, water, water everywhere, and not in drugs. So if you look at the urban reality, there is so much of food dollars around us. But the choices that we make and what we are eating is something which is really reflected in the kind of uh, problem that we are facing today. Uh, Come uh -huh. 